Chapter 39 Do you know when the mountain goats give birth? Have you watched as the wild deer are born? Do you know how many months they carry their young? Are you aware of the time of their delivery? They crouch down to give birth to their young and deliver their offspring. Their young grow up in the open fields. They leave their parents and never return. Who makes the wild donkey wild? I have placed it in the wilderness. Its home is the wasteland. It hates the noise of the city, and it has no driver to shout at it. The mountains are its pasture land, where it searches for every blade of grass. Will the wild ox consent to be tamed? Will it stay in your stall? Can you hitch a wild ox to a plow? Will it plow a field for you? Since it is so strong, can you trust it? Can you go away and trust the ox to do your work? Can you rely on it to return, bringing your grain to the threshing floor? The ostrich flaps her wings grandly, but they are no match for the feathers of the stork. She lays her eggs on top of the earth, letting them be warmed in the dust. She doesn't worry that a foot might crush them or that wild animals might destroy them. She is harsh toward her young, as if they were not her own. She is unconcerned, though they die, for God has deprived her of wisdom. He has given her no understanding. But whenever she jumps up to run, she passes the swiftest horse with its rider. Have you given the horse its strength or clothed its neck with a flowing mane? Did you give it the ability to leap forward like a locust? Its majestic snorting is something to hear. It paws the earth and rejoices in its strength. When it charges to war, it is unafraid, does not run from the sword. The arrows rattle against it and the spear and javelin flash. Fiercely it paws the ground and rushes forward into battle when the trumpet blows. It snorts at the sound of the bugle. It senses the battle even at a distance. It quivers at the noise of battle and the shout of the captain's commands. Are you the one who makes the hawk soar and spread its wings to the south? Is it at your command that the eagle rises to the heights to make its nest? It lives on the cliffs, making its home on a distant rocky crag. For there it hunts its prey, keeping watch with piercing eyes. Its nestlings gulp down blood, for it feeds on the carcass of the slaughtered.